Hello everyone and welcome to one of my Alita Battle Angel lore videos. This is the first one in a couple of videos I plan to do on Alita Battle Angel and the story and the history and the lore behind the series. I recently saw the movie in theaters and I became very interested in wanting to learn more. And I recently found out before seeing the movie that there was a lot more to, to be discovered with there being a manga and a anime adaptation. Let's begin on some of the stuff here. So one of the things I want to cover here is something called the Era Spucknik Calendar. The lore of Alita Battle Angel takes place hundreds of years into the future. So something to take note about this future is how they measure time on a calendar. In our own reality, we mainly describe our timelines in uh, two separate ways. AD or BC, or the other one called BCE or CE. But in the universe of Alita Battle Angel, the timeline is described in a new term titled Era Sputnik, or ES for short. Era Sputnik refers to the first ever human-made satellite launched by the Soviet Union, labeled with the same name of Sputnik, to orbit the Earth back in 1957 AD CE. So in our year of 2019, this would be the year 62 ES in the world of Alita Battle Angel. The origin of how this change of the year numbering system began is with a character named Arthur Farrell, who conceived it. This occurred after a defeat by a group of Type 5 mutants near what was formerly St. Louis, Missouri, as well as the ending of the Long Impact Winter. I think it's important to clarify what the Long Impact Winter was. The Long Impact Winter was the time period following the catastrophic event of an asteroid hitting the Earth that occurred in the year 55 ES, or 2012. Interesting side note, an impact winter is a general term that can be used to describe any type of impact by an asteroid or meteor. It is not just a term used in Alita Battle Angel lore. This particular asteroid hit near Japan and caused massive damage to the planet in the lore to which humans living on the planet have never fully recovered from. It is part of the reason why the city's Iron City and the city above it are among the only cities left on Earth. This asteroid hitting Earth caused many people to also leave Earth to colonize various parts of the solar system, such as Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Its calendar system is the same as a standard Earth revolution around the Sun. In the city of Keturis lies a small monument dedicated to the dog Laika, who was the first mammal from Earth to reach Earth's orbit. So where are we in regards to the story? Well, according to the Wikipedia entry from the movie, a massive war which is commonly called the Fall in the movie, but also known as the Terraforming Wars, happens. According to this wiki, this war starts in the year 2263 AD, and then the timeline jumps 300 years, which is where the movie begins, and the story as a whole begins as well. 300 years is 2563 AD, so according to the Era Sputnik calendar, Alita Battle Angel starts off just over 600 ES. Not exactly sure when, but my own calculation made it at the year 606 ES by subtracting 2563 from 606 to get the year 1957. So that concludes this Alita Battle Angel lore documentary. Thank you again so much for watching. 